Good day, everybody. Welcome back to another episode. We are two and a half hours away from East Zion. And We're just taking a quick break and. Uh, and right over here, and I'm gonna tell you something about where we're going. To the mountain. Yeah? Yep. So, after three and a half hours of driving, we are now you here really sure thing, okay. at East Zion Resort. <laughs> I'll show you where it's at. What it do? How's it look like? Sir? You got your own parking spot, yurt number six. Can I have that oh, orange really? slice? Why? Can I have orange slice? No, right there, that, that one. No! That's not orange. Well, that's orange. <laughs> slice! That, that orange slice you want? Oh, no sugar. In this video, we will share with you our glamping experience in Orderville, Utah, East Zion Resort. But before all that, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Support us. And, uh, this, yeah, I know, we're in a closet. Just to get that sound right, you know? It's not my closet, but let's get back to the vlog. Look inside. Our yurt came with a grill. It comes with a fridge, microwave, Keurig, and kitchenware. Also, a stove top with two burners. It's own bathroom, two king beds. Also in the bathroom, it comes with a shower curtain. Of course, there's a shower. There is a nice sink with a mirror. Towels are available. And there's a toilet. Everything that you'll see in a hotel will be available. Unfortunately, it rained on the first night. Started to rain. But we kept going. And we had the grill going. And of course, we had to make dinner. We were able to finish grilling right after the rain had stopped. Enjoyed the view. We were able to take some pictures and enjoy that cool breeze. Good morning. Morning. Did you sleep good? The sun's still out. Good morning, day two. The sun just came out and we had one of these yurts. So we have this one, that, and the last one. We just flew the drone. I'll let you, uh, I'm sure you guys saw it already. We're gonna go next door and have breakfast because we had to, we got here yesterday, lunch and dinner. Um, the pool closed at 10, so we're gonna try and, uh, we got here like around noon. And we're gonna try and uh, show you guys around a little bit. You told her? I didn't call you. Give me the. Uh huh. What do you want me to do? No, no. Elena said you have to get the food ready for the kids. Mm. They're just gonna pick. Um, I'm just gonna make a small bowl and then I'll just feed them because they're. Morning, Pop. I slept. I just went to sleep. Okay. You want this bread? I need oh, oh, I know. Oh, man. Oh, corned beef. Alright, guys. Oh. It looks like this is good. The potato. Corned beef. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What is it? I don't have Ooh. Pork chop! This small town has a population of under 600 people. It's the best place for you to channel yourself, get away from everything, and come back fresh. For me, this is what I call a reset.
Oh, here we go. No more Colorado for you. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I'm going on the wrong side too. I'm gonna be at the hospital. You open it, huh? Here. Here. Hmm? So right now everybody went out to go to the store and the other half went to go hiking. I rested yesterday. I didn't do much. I think I'm gonna do lunch. So in this part of the film, we're cooking. I'm like, I'm like, you're not gonna be able to sleep. All right, so everybody's out on a hike, but at the same time, it's my turn to cook. So we're gonna have pork steak, boom. And then uh, this one's heating up. Oh no! Oh no, turn it off. And uh, it's a beautiful day out there, it's just too hot for me. Oh, you can see the shadow of my hand holding the camera. It's nice out here. It's really quiet. It's relaxing. Ooh. And uh, it's beautiful. It's like there's a perfect reset. The, I mean, words can't even express how perfect this is for me right now. I needed this. And without, you know, my sister and the whole Galley family. And I think it's becoming a tradition. So, shot! <laughs> We're not doing shots, cause we're in Utah. Here's a friendly advice. If you're coming out of here, bring as much liquor as you want. Cause I don't drink beer, but I can drink once in a blue moon. Um, stuff that I would order at the bar in Las Vegas if I had to drink a beer. Uh, other than that, yeah. Um, I'll flip the camera around. I want you guys to see this little town. Right here is beautiful. And then tomorrow we're gonna fly the drone out. Cool. All right, just bring the cards out. Let's play. Let's go. Tada, let's. And tada, let's. Tada. Actually, it would be nice if we get the time lapse on this one. Let's go. So, uh, we went to the gas station to go grab some beers, and um, at the same time, I saw some of these in white, but last night, Chris was talking to me about uh, a certain hat that he wanted, and so just now, oh, just now, he was like, yo, that hat's mine, you're not taking that home, but me and Joshua, his son, actually stopped in and it's the first thing I grabbed. 
he told me he wanted the gray and white, so I grabbed the gray and white. So I'm gonna give it to him right now before he grabs my hat. But uh, yeah, like little things that matter, you know. Like you gotta know the person. Chris actually raised me when I was 19 here with Ate Elena. You gotta know the person inside out. So I, the reason I picked it up is because I know he's gonna grab my hat. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bring it outside for him. Wait, wait, after the game, Uncle. After the game. Yeah. You lost? No, we shot. Miller, my pakla. No, we finished it. What's Miller? There's no more Miller. Oh, we're ready to Miller. Uh, see, 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 yeah. yeah, he was describing it to me yesterday. Like, <laughs> oh, because I, I tell him like, yo, I saw these hats yo, yesterday. Right? And he was like, yeah. the sweet. I like that, bro. I need a hat like that. Shut up. up. You lose all the side, you we lose, and I have lower card. <laughs> Cheers. The times, huh? <laughs> mm, the times, huh? The times, huh? The times, huh? Where are you learning these? Something I could do. I could be running or I'm chasing you, but I won't. Cause I got better, better things to do. Stupid. <laughs> Anyways, it's uh, 7 in the morning Utah time. We're about to pack up and get out of here. And uh, I guess that's it for this vlog. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hyper. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. Thank you. Alright, that was it. Thank you for watching. Also, I want to leave it with this. Uh, again, you can't please everybody. So... Keep doing what you're doing. Don't even worry about what other people think. Just when I started these vlogs, a lot of people were like, oh my god, Hazel's doing this and that. These vlogs are for the kids to look at when they're our age or my age. Instead of a photo album. Do yours. Do your thing. Don't worry about other people. You're making your dad grow more white hair. Is it working? Dad's got the caboose. And yes, it's working in Zion. Yeah, I'm having a wonderful day. Man, I really love to play And now that I won Then it's safe to say But you didn't want me All you wanted was a game to play And you couldn't handle That I had my way